Hello and welcome to not Let's Play Hearthstone Arena. Uh, we just finished the shaming game, which wasn't that great. Um, we're gonna play a mage again. This is the second time I'm playing mage. I did have pretty decent results the very first time. Um, out of all these cards, I think all three are pretty bad. Uh, I obviously like the Death Rattle the most. Um, like this is fine, this is good, and this is good. I actually, like like Argent Commander the most, uh, even though as a Drake is pretty good, especially in the Mage deck. I'm not a f fan of this. I'm not a fan of this. I am kind of a fan of this, but holy moly, we have five five four. So this is difficult. Like Flame Strike is a pretty good wiper. Fireball is basically a removal and end game kill. Um, I think we won the Flame Strike and hope we can pick up a Fireball later. Um actually like Mana Worm. I'm not a fan of Cone of Cold. Um When a hero takes your hero, destroy it. I actually like that. We already have one Argent Commander, but we could use a second, but I think we'll pick up more late game eventually, so yeah, see. Uh so weapons we obviously don't have. We can play a one mana one two one or a seven mana nine five. Uh, all of these are terrible, by the way, for a mage. So we'll go for the early one. Battlecry, deal 3 damage to the hero. Again, uh, or a taunt and rage. I'll pick up that. Oh man, why? Oh why do I get these stupid cards? Like, pick up the stealth, I guess. So here we have the, the same pick again. Like, vaporize I like, but... I'm also a fan of Azur Drake, so we'll get that. Um... Uh, we already picked up one flame strike, right? Yeah, I guess we'll get a second. And there we have the fireball. Uh, obviously, one fire dragon as well, but. Uh, phew, 4 mana 4 4. I like over the wind fury here. Despite me liking that. Uh, silence is pretty good. I think we have to go with this now. Like, these aren't that great. Um, hmm. Direwolf Alpha is pretty good. This is also pretty good though. It's not like giving one attack to all our creatures is gonna be that great. But it has more upside than this, so we'll get that. Um we get another mana worm. I actually like this card pretty a lot actually. Um I was looking for a good word there. Um I'm more of a fan of Razor Fan Hunter than the other one. So we pick up a second fireball, which is great. I'm not a fan of this. Uh, if it was persistent, uh, I would obviously pick it. I don't like this either, so we'll pick the 3 mana 4 3. Um, hmm, we can freeze all enemy minions, pick up another fireball, or do 1 damage to all enemy minions. I'm gonna pick up another fireball. Um, these two are great, we already have a tiger. I'm. This isn't that super, and we want early, so we pick up the mad bomber. <sighs> Hard one. So counter spell is fine. Argent Commander is also good though. We'll pick up the Argent Commander, but I want more early here. Um, like I hate randomness. I think having a second silence is good. Uh, we can pick up this to gain board control at one point. Ooh, but Mirror Entity is pretty strong, right? Um, this is good, but we want the early game, so uh, and it can trips. Your spells cost one less, two mana, three, two. Obvious speak. Uh, Acolyte of Pain is great with our hero power. This doesn't do anything, this is just a three, three divine shield, so. Um, yeah, uh, Frostbolt is probably the better one. At the end of your turn, give another friendly minion plus one attack. Whenever you cast a spell, draw a card. How many spells do we have here? Like, this is our last pick, right? One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 spells. Um, and some 5 mana 4, 4. Do 1 to 1, 3 that gives extra attack to minions. Like, we're probably not likely to s jump a lot on the board. Um, so we'll pick up the action here. The upside of that card seems to be stronger. Like I'm still used to drafting more in a Magic the Gathering style where you 
can predict a bit better what you will get in the near future or can expect and hope to pick up like here it isn't like well you probably do have a certain model in mind when you are drafting which is uh, like you want x kind of removals you want x kind of early drops um, so here we'll get rid of this um, and we get yeah I mean uh, it's not that much difference but you have to take the odds there um, that's pretty good though just because it's a 2-1 uh, it usually trades with most of his drops that he can do here. Um, we can also frostbolt whatever he does, assuming it's better than. Well, if it kills this, uh, it does. Wow, he has the best Mad Bomber ever. So Mad Bomber also trades with this, so I think I want to kill it here. Do I though? I can do this. Now let's kill it. Like, I have gotten insane mad bombers myself, and it seems to be a bit favored towards um, getting the. Put a copy of a random card in your opponent's hand into your hand. Sure. Um, that only costs one, I, I did not expect that. Uh, so you could have gotten any of these. Um, we'll play this. He obviously knows now. Well, he doesn't. He didn't see my hand. <laughs> uh, but it's a 4 3. I mean, it's a good card. Uh, that doesn't do much at this point. So we attack him, I guess. And play a 2 3 taunt and rage attack. It's a priest, so he doesn't have a wipe yet. He has Holy Nova at 5, though. Um, he can have smite for this. Oh, or that. It's fine as well. But I mean, would he really want to do that? Oh, he, he heals himself, sure. Like Holy Nova next turn does 5 then, right? No, he does 3 then, uh, with this. When your opponent plays a minion, summon a copy of it. So, he could have a Zero Drake, and then we get a copy, but we do not get a battle cry out of it. So, maximizing our mana here is just the best. Uh, and we'll end our turn here. We're trying to rush him down. It's a priest, so they have less board control. Um, it isn't easy though. I mean, this next turn basically kills most of his creatures. Uh, he can have this very same card, uh, which is basically the issue. An issue. I'll, I'll say it like that, not the issue. Uh, that's a good one though. 7 6. How am I gonna handle that? Attack, attack, he goes down to 16, we take 9. We can also attack him with this as well. He can have the same card because he stole it from us. Then he attacks us down to... Well, he dies if he does that, so he can't do that. He has to have something here. Like, he could have this, drop it, attack, attack, I guess. That would probably be the best. <laughs> we can then silence the divine shield. Well, it's probably already gone then by then, yeah. So yeah, he's starting to try to clear the board here. Which I guess is fine. Um, I would do the same. But without taunt it's gonna be hard to... Well, Holy Nova here is good, right? Um, Holy Nava heals this, heals him, and then kills this. Then he takes another 4, he goes down to 10. I played this into this. Maybe. Like, copying his next creature seems pretty strong, right? Right? Makes you not sure. I still consider Priest to be strong, they have uh, pretty strong cards. You, you want to have the board control against them, then they're a bit useless, but elves are so strong. Um, so he's gonna get rid of that. Oh, he has Holy Nova and then it heals for 3. Oh. That's not that bad then. So, attack, attack. 
summon summon then what does it do I think we can also do this he can attack for 15 your opponent plays a copy summon a minion of it you can also do this this and ping ogre magi what does it do for us yeah I think we want to do it like this uh, basically this is oh he has something here like what can he have he can have the charge one but that's not lethal it's just 19 he really needs a big buff oh we can give him taunt I guess well that doesn't do anything I actually get an 8 8 myself now like they don't have charge so Well, he has two of these. Damn, man. Like, he needs a taunt and needs to get rid of all these creatures. Um, yep, that's fine. Well, he can mine. No, he doesn't have mana for mind control. A top deck fireball will also end this. I mean, it's looking pretty good for me, right? I have no clue why he said wall plate. Like yeah. And you still need to get rid of one of these. I don't think he has the answer here, else he would have already cast it, right? If he had like spell power in the holy nova I would instantly done it. Um that doesn't change anything. That does though. Uh, well, it doesn't because I can silence it, but I mean, normally it does. Your magic shall not save you. So we go one o up. Um, yeah. I mean, that was actually rather close because he played a lot of eight eights. Uh, the fact that we got a copy out of it was pretty sick for us. And we'll see what we face now. Uh, so we just be the priest. I mean, I'm not a big fan of my deck. I never am actually. Um, so yeah, most of the time I like, oh, my deck is so underpowered. But so what I still think is wrong here, I, and I'm gonna show you how this works, right? So, so your packs are randomized somehow. You make random picks. But in Magic, you all draft, and your opponents all draft from the same packs. So if the packs are shitty, your opponent also gets shitty packs. And you, the power level of both decks are usually the same. They're either real shitty <laughs> from from everyone, or pretty good from everyone. Unless you have like one guy opening three bombs in a row and the rest opening nothing. Okay, sure. Then the guy got extremely lucky, but it's so unlikely. Um... Here though, you just face random people and they are not faced with the same picks as you. They have their own different sets. So they can have insane packs, insane picks, have an insane deck and you're stuck with a weak deck. And I think that's also an error if you want to make this somehow competitive. Yet again, for me, the end game of a, the end goal of a game... Um, okay. The end game of a game... End goal of a game should be to be competitive. Like, it only succeeds when it has a competitive scene, when it has a competitive scene, amateurs want to get into that competitive scene and they start playing your game. The same happened with the League of Legends. Riot invests a lot of money, and with a lot of money I really do mean a lot of money, into making League of Legends having a competitive scene. Organizing tournaments, even though it costs them money, um, doing an insane amount of things just to get a competitive scene and as soon as you have that your the rest of the people will follow um, so I go first we have a 1-3 which is fine um, I'm not sure if I'll keep this but I'll, I'll just keep it for now uh, fireball is okay especially seeing that um, it eventually grows bigger with this like if he coins into a 3-2 do I attack and shoot it I'm not sure 
So if this game wants to be competitive, it has to change its method of working. Like uh, games have to be one out of three. Your drafts have to be more fair towards everyone. Your um, your um, you have to make sure that if you win the role, you get to choose if you go first or second uh, because it could be a strategy. Um, basically, more options for the for a player is always better. Uh, what else is there that you can do? You um, so he uses the coin and then what? He kills this. Uh, sure. Oh, I see. So that's fine. He still used the uh, one for one here. Uh, he actually even used the coin to do that. So uh, I'm satisfied with him doing that. He does gain control here because um, I didn't make an extra 2-drop. I didn't have a 2-drop, else I would have, of course. Um, so we summon the 4-3 here. Or that. Uh, yeah, that's better. Just so he attacks here or attacks here. He obviously probably has something in his hand to deal with it, but uh, that's fine. If he has a, like a taunt, I can kill that as well. Wait, you can... Oh, I see. What does it do? Battle cry. Deal one damage. So he still trades one for one. Uh, now he does have a weapon though. Uh, but it's a... What does this do? It's... It keeps a 1-2 dragger. Like, does this overwrite this then? Like, this is something as well. I'm pretty sure that if I... Google Dagger Mastery in Hearthstone that it says that it increases the power by one. Um, now it just says uh, it keeps it a one to a dagger. So, sure, let's summon this then. Like, if it does something else, I, I'll, I'll be really pissed, but um, there's no way I can know that. Like, why did he do that deal 1 damage? He could have attacked the tech 10 and then played it. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> I was like, did he just cast the second one? But uh, he didn't. Hmm. Like, this card cantrips almost always. Um, it's a pretty good card, I think. Basically, because sometimes it draws you multiple cards, and that just makes it so good. Let's see what it does. Uh, so he summon, summons a 2-3. Yeah, like here, if, even if he attacks it. Um, hmm. So we... We can attack that and then obviously draw a card always next turn. Play this, play this soon. We can also play a 5-4 taunt. We'll see first. We'll see what to draw. Um, so that doesn't that's not a good draw to to do now. So if I optimize my mana I'm going to do this. Like I actually wanted to blast this, but I can do that next turn attack and blast it and have two draws out of this. Like he's still forced to deal with my board and I'm not forced to deal with his. How well, I, I'm always forced to deal with his somehow, but uh, not yet. And next turn this can become a 2-3 already. Um, for one mana. Like, I actually like this card. I think it's a it's a fine card. Uh, so yeah, that is something I, I did fear. Uh, somewhat. So it does it take that card. Um, which I guess is fine, but we do gain board control here by... Hmm. Hmm. Nah, I, well, we still do this. I still think this is better. Like next turn, we could do this, this, and then deal two to everything. Um, assuming he just plays a bunch of two toughness cards. That's one of them. Uh, that's a big one, though. 
so we'll kill this and that. We'll first summon this, kill this, just so this grows. Kill this, then let him draw a card out of it, and then play around. This can grow to a 4 3 next turn if I want. Uh, deal 3 damage to the enemy hero. I don't care, he probably just use that for a combo. Uh, sure. Like it's a 1 for 1, that's fine. Uh, so he has another one of those, but I actually, that actually doesn't matter because I can easily hero power those. Um, so he's just gonna summon another dagger. So the obvious play is hero power this now. We can summon a tree to and this, or we can. Well, my spells cost less, so if I do this, I can do this as well. Um, and then what? Like, if you summon something pretty shitty, I get a copy out of it. Yeah, let's let's do that. Um, I mean everything costs less now, so Arcane Explosion costs 1, this costs 3, but um, I basically hope he drops something pretty good here. Uh, he doesn't, but I mean, it's still good enough, I guess. Basically I get a 2-3, I can kill this now. Um, he has a pretty sick blade here. Like, I think weapons are a bit too strong currently. Uh, sure, it does damage to your creatures, but... Um, hmm. I mean, sure, it does damage to your creatures, but that doesn't actually uh, matter that much. So we can keep the fireball for now, just to deal with him. Uh, we can easily fire. What's it actually called? It's called fire blast. Uh, that doesn't matter. That does though. So does straight air. I get another two one. He attacks the two one. Sure. We can bring him down to eleven. Summon Booty Bay Bodyguard. We also can do 2 damage to everything, right? So, this into Ogre Magi into Arcane Explosion. And then we have Lethal next turn. Seems fine. Like, he needs to summon something really big here. And even if he does, I can probably attack it and. Yeah, that's that's lethal. Um, unless he has like vanish here uh, or that, I guess. So we already attacked, so he's dead here. If he doesn't have anything else, he doesn't, so he's dead. Um, we don't even need to attack here. We can just. Oh, that actually did seven damage. So uh, the reach was just too much for uh, him. So we're currently two up with our mage deck. Um, so we did play two games here and a draft, so I'll end this video here and I'll see you for the next one.